Hi guys, so if you are subscribed to me, you will have hopefully seen a video where I talk about the fact that I'm leaving the free trade platform. I've already sold a whole bunch of my investments there that were in profit, and part of that was just due to wanting to use the money for my house build. So again, I have a video where I've explained that as well. Um, but what I wanted to do was do a final free trade portfolio update before I sell the remaining positions. So that is my my plan. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I was going to leave these in here um, initially just to get back into profit but part of me thought why don't I just sell them and rebuy them elsewhere. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to sell all of these positions uh, on Monday and I'm going to either rebuy them on another platform like Trading212 or eToro or I'm going to put them into investments that I think are probably going to do better. Uh, there are a few of them that have just completely failed and I genuinely don't think that they're going to recover at least not for a long long time so I'm just going to put them into slightly safer bets like the S&P 500. Now the way I'm going to do this is just take you through the remaining positions um, there's only one that I've added to since the last update. If you want to see the ones that I've sold I suggest watching the video where I talk about how I've sold 25% of my investments because on there I talk through um, all the positions I've sold both in free trade and trading 212. Okay, so let's jump into it. The first position that I still have is my Global Clean Energy ETF. Now, as you can see, I'm down 18.98% on this one, which is about 134 pounds, so not a small loss. Now with this one, I genuinely think it will go back up. I've said before that I genuinely think that clean energy is the future, and I do think it's a blip that this is all doing really badly. Obviously, that's my own personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor yet but um, this is one that I'm gonna hold long term. So this one, I will definitely be rebuying on another platform. The next one is Visa, and Visa um, over the last month, as you can see, has been very, very up and down. So I have literally gone from green to red, from green to red, so um, very up and down. Visa, I will be rebuying, um, again, one that I believe in long term. Currently down 1.7%, which is about three pounds loss. So not big money, about 196 pounds um, in total value. So I invested about 200 pounds so far into Visa. Legal and general next. So legal in general is the only stock that I've added to since my last free trade update. Um, it was only about four, four shares that I added here. Um, as you can see, the chart is very, very up and down, not huge gains with legal in general but legal in general, I bought for the dividends. So I'm currently down minus 9.5% on legal in general, which is about 20 pounds down. But as you can see, their dividend yield at the moment is about 7%, which is really, really decent. I have my main job pension with legal in general, so I do think that they are hopefully gonna be around for a very long time, um, and they pay really, really awesome dividends. AT&T, um, so currently, obviously, massively, massively down, 32.4%, uh, which is about 86 pounds. Having said that, they had the demerger recently, and I got Warner Brothers Discovery, you can see here, I got 2.869 shares of this um, as part of my ownership in AT&T and I sold it for about £52. So actually that pretty much makes up for a big chunk of this loss. I don't think I'll be buying back into AT&T, I know they're a good dividend player but I think that I've had a very love-hate relationship with AT&T and I think I'm just going to reinvest this money into an ETF. Polar Capital, I'll definitely be investing back into. I've currently got 22 shares, um, down 18.6%, so about 30 pounds, just under 30 pounds down. But I think that this is one that I want to hold long term. Uh, again, they pay really good dividends, so I will be repurchasing this one. Physical Silver, 
definitely going to repurchase this. Currently down 6.5%, which is only about six pounds, so not too bad. Um, about five shares on here at the moment. I do also hold it in Trading212, I think. So I'll just be re-adding to that one. Um, or maybe Invest Engine because I think I've got it on Invest Engine now as well. Sentiment, I'm just going to cut my losses on um, minus 29%, so about £17 down. But it's just been way too long of being in the minus, and I think it just makes more sense to invest this into a physical gold ETF. Emerging markets. I do have some emerging markets ETFs, I believe, on Invest Engine. So this will just go back into those emerging market ETFs. Um, currently down 13.99%, which is only about five pounds, um, but obviously percentage wise quite a lot. Not really surprising considering what's going on in the world at the moment. Rigel Pharma, um, one of my penny stock investments that's not really paid off, so minus 26%. I think with this one, I'm going to leave it in free trade. Um, I'm basically going to leave the penny stocks because I see them as gambling rather than investing necessarily. Um, so those I'm just going to leave and see what happens. Um, so £25, not a lot, a couple of drinks on a night out. Um, so I'm going to leave this one. Same with Argo blockchain. So with this one, as you can see, it's only available for plus members, so I can add to it. Um, but I've got 35 shares. Um, I'm currently down 61%, which is insane. Um, but considering it's currently only £22, um, again, I'm just going to leave it here and see what happens. <sighs> Oatly, I have no words for. I don't really know what's happening. I mean, in fairness, I did tell you that I invested in this with zero research. Um, this was almost like Greg's for me, where with Greg's I invested because I just bloody love the product. And Oatly, like I'm probably one of their best customers. So <laughs> that's why I invested in them. But as you can see, since their IPO, um, they went up to as much as sort of 28, almost $29. And now they are down to 380. Uh, so yeah, not great. Um, so yeah, minus almost 100 pounds. So again, probably just going to leave it here and see what happens. Cannabis Group, um, medical cannabis, definitely a penny stock, as you can see, 0 0.06. Um, I'm down almost 80%, so 73.91. Again, I see this as a gamble rather than an investment. So I'm going to just leave it here to rot if you will and hopefully one day it will just kickstart. And finally the Hutt Group, um, again a massive 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 disappointment, um, down 82% on this which is about £55. With this I'm not going to bother um, selling it, it's only a tenner. So again just going to leave it here and see what happens. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this will probably be my last free trade portfolio update. If anything big happens with the few penny stocks that I'm just going to leave in here, I will of course let you know, um, but otherwise just assume that they're still plodding along and nothing's really happening. Once again, if you haven't watched my videos around selling my investment and leaving free trade, go and check those out. Um, hopefully they'll be interesting. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.